Greetings YouTube, it's Mike Kaylee 7 here, coming to you on, uh, was it May 30th I guess, yeah May 30th, 2021, happy Memorial Day, although I don't know how you can wish somebody a happy one when it's Memorial Day, you know, a somber and serious Memorial Day to you, honor those we have lost. As you can see, I'm taking out the Kawi today. First time I've ridden a motorcycle since the 18th. Uh, all right, let's get this party started. Clean out the inner, this, inside of this helmet. <laughs> Oof! Smells like a foot. We got the three cameras going today. The Cena on my helmet, 10C Evo. I got the GoPro 8 on my helmet, as well as my Cena Evo. And then I've got the seven filming from the front, looking back. All stitched together, oops. All stitched together by Movie Studio 16. My movie editing program of choice currently. Last time I wrote it was a Goldwing, so I've got to get used to the different controls again. That's why you heard the horn a moment ago. I hope you enjoyed the videos that I put out with uh, Moose3971. I have a playlist also. It's called Ohio Oh My. So if you have not watched the videos and you would like to, go to my playlists and you'll see it there. If you need help getting to sleep, my videos, pretty much any one of them is good for that. So enjoy. As they say in Greece, Fechan Cheche. It's a nice cool day today. So you might be wondering, Mike, why weren't you uh, riding the past couple weeks? Well, I'll tell you why. First, when I got back, I was really tired. You know, tired and fatigued and all that. So I needed some time off. And then the weather kind of turned crappy, a lot of rain each day, and we had these uh, big time thunderstorms in the midday to afternoon with hailstones and stuff, so I decided let's not risk that. Didn't want to come out and find my bike all full of bumps. And I just wasn't feeling right, so when you're not feeling right, you don't ride. 
heat, tired, da 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 da. I'm on 10 weeks, uh, 10 weeks, listen to me. I'm on 10 hour days until the end of July. And it's not really as bad as it sounds because I have four days a week of work instead of five. Boy, am I out of practice. Ooh I was thinking, you know, I should ride to work again and do that, but then, like I said, the rain and the hail, midday when I'm at work, not good. There's no garage where I work, so no cover. Not from hail. And uh, I have to be there at 8. It takes me a long time to get all my act together. So if I'm going to wake up, become fully awake, and then get everything ready to go, it's kind of hard. I'd have to get up really, really early, like three. That's pretty much how bad I am these days. Excuses, excuses, I know. It's a nice day, though, today. Got a horse with a blanket on. Oops. It's the first time I've been out in two days. I mean, like, out at all. I haven't gone anywhere. Just stayed home because, you know, long weekend and all that. Just relaxing. Did some laundry, cleaned the kitchen, vacuumed the house, that kind of thing. But now I'm out. I have to go pick up my prescriptions. So I figured I'd take you on a little journey. Just going down my usual twisty before I go the opposite way to get to the drugstore. Might as well take the long way around, as they say. Matt Smith Cemetery? What? I'm just taking it easy today. Because I'm out of practice, so I want to make sure that I get this right and don't screw it up. Yeah, I'm very rusty. So maybe I'll do some more shout-outs at some point. I know you guys really enjoyed those. I'll do one more to uh, Porco Bianco and his wife. Greetings. Sorry to uh, Jack O'Corn, also known as Harley Dayrider, for not being able to visit with him. And to Geo Mac Grandad. Sorry, George. It just didn't work out. We, uh, we, the first day or two days, Moose and I decided we were going to do the big ones, you know, the 555 five, five, and a couple of, and like two other roads the next day. And that's exactly what we did, and we really enjoyed ourselves. But then.
I think it was day three we decided we were just going to play it by ear. In part because the, uh, the navigation system wasn't really helping us too much. Moose's wasn't really working so well. Mine wasn't. He had downloaded the maps and that wasn't working. The Honda Nav was sending us uh, down pig trails, you know, like unpaved gravel roads. Let's see if I get through this without killing myself, huh? Not half bad, not half bad. It's been a minute since I've been on here, so set up an old kill. <laughs> Do you guys have this problem when you're riding for several days and you've got the helmet squishing your face like this, the full facer? Do you bite the inside of your mouth when you're eating later on? I do. I'm not wearing a helmet, obviously, when I'm eating, but after I take off the helmet after riding for a long time with the helmet on, like my cheeks don't rebound fast enough and when I'm eating I end up biting my cheek. Oh well. The price we pay for awesomeness. And my back was killing me when I got back. Actually, it still hurts even now. Up right in between my shoulders, my center back, not the bad back part that I hurt uh, doing nothing. But I think on the fourth or fifth day, I felt like my road muscles were coming back. And I know that if I'm on a two-week trip, the first few days will be break-in period for me, but after that I'll be all right. Just gotta push through the pain and keep going. Oh, I'm on, I'm on this road I don't wanna be on. I'm on the front eye. Yes, I am. I want to turn around. This is Rock Service Station Road, and I do not want to be on this road. So I'm noticing no cicadas out and about. I thought we'd have a lot of them, but I guess maybe it's next month they'll hit here. I don't know. I know they're hitting up north pretty bad. But nothing here yet. Knock on wood, right?
Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. Just got up a little bit of fun there for a sec. That's all. I am wearing all my gear, so that's good. Got on my Daytona boots, my iron worker jeans with the pads and the Kevlar, my Harley jacket with the with the D3O armor that I bought for it, my Arai helmet, my EXO Scorpion EXO gloves. There we are. Not too bad, not too bad. Like I said, I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Just trying to enjoy myself a little bit on my way to the drugstore. I think I'll go straight here. Yes, yes, that's what I think I will do. Nobody coming, nobody coming. I wish I had a topic for you, but I don't. That's how tired I've been, just working, working. Not a whole lot going on for me. Sorry, boring. I do not recommend staying at the Highlander Motel in Athens unless money trumps all, in which case, go right ahead. Now see, I was in the Peace Corps, so 
I can click into my third world mode, my Fiji mode, very, very easily. Hello, giant carrion bird. And, you know, moose is fine. Plus, when you're on the road, you know, you just go along. You just adapt. Nothing too difficult about that, really. But it definitely was not of the lack of a luxury. We're not even in a bad part of town, really. So a shout out to uh, GB Winging It. Thanks, Gil, for your videos and your nice comments. It's been very enjoyable watching you ride to work in the mornings. In the video I saw this morning, you kept saying Goldwing, 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 on the Goldwing, on the Goldwing, on the Goldwing. I almost felt like commenting, what kind of bike was that again? <laughs> This is the Kawasaki. This is the Kawasaki ZH2. 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 Sorry, ZH2. 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 How about that, huh? Say it, the original Klingon. I feel like a sh uh, schmuck because I have not watched anybody else's videos, really, except for Moose and uh, GB Winging It. I did go on to the coffee talk thing with HDR briefly. And I think that's kind of it. 
I did notice some some videos out there by people I want to watch, like Road Reality and uh, Paul Fosbury. Amir Sheik, I saw that he's making videos again as riding season has begun up there in Canada. Okay, so here we are. Alright, let's see. What am I thinking? Well, I had this thought when I was on the trip, and I've had this thought before, but it's the first time I vocalized it to anybody. I said it to Moose. It wasn't on camera. And it wasn't, no, it, no, it wasn't, I'm gay, and I love you, Jay, no. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. But uh, I thought... If I ever mastered, not that I can or, or could ever, but if I ever mastered the motorcycle to the extent that I can do anything I really wanted to on it at any time, no problem, would I lose interest? I really like learning new things, and I get bored with the same old, same old. And I know what you're thinking, what? Is Mikey going to... Sell his cowie? No, I'm not anywhere near learning this bike yet. The only problem is it just takes expensive track day stuff to do the kinds of things that I'm thinking about. You notice when I'm on the populated streets, I ride like a normal human being. It's only on the empty stretches that I get a little bit nuts. And that's because the cars are not expecting somebody to be nuts. They're expecting somebody to be doing the speed limit or slightly above. So if I go nutcakes and start, you know, doing 90 and a 45, it's my own damn fault if somebody turns in front of me or pulls out or something. They're, they're not expecting me to go that fast. And I noticed that on my test ride of the Gold Wing. And I said it in the video, I'm going too fast for traffic conditions because people kept pulling out on me. They, they weren't seeing me in time because I was going too fast. Well, they should keep their eyes open. No, 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 that is not. You must anticipate them. Yes, 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 yes. 